reflecting on um, Joseph and Mary looking for a place to give birth to Jesus, the stable was pretty humble, and yet something great happened there. Think of St. Peter Claver, our food pantry. Our church hall is very humble. Um, it uh, needs a coat of paint. It needs some water repair. But great things happen there. Every two weeks we have a food pantry. Um, and people from our neighborhood, uh, which again is a little shabby, um, seen better times. People often drive by rather quickly. Something great happens. People from our parish and surrounding parishes will get together and hand out food. Our food pantry um, doesn't have a lot of requirements. Uh, if you have someone who has a felony conviction in your household, we'll still give you food. Uh, we don't ask for government IDs, so someone undocumented can come. Our fifth graders at St. Peter Clever School have made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. There's coffee and they come in and they eat um, peanut butter sandwiches and have coffee. The uh, children sometimes will sing or do skits and then they're called into the uh, interior of the hall and they get to shop. They get to choose from what they need um, from uh, different sections. And there's even, uh, because many of the uh, elderly um, might skimp on their own food uh, because they want to feed their, their companions and then also feminine uh, hygiene uh, kits and uh, paper products that are not covered for staff benefits. And so I see it's a humble place and the people drive by quickly, but yet some good things uh, happen and um, some rebirth even happens there.